Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. You might notice a little bit of a different layout and that's because I have now moved. Um, you still will be seeing a few of the old setup and that's because I've pre-recorded quite a few videos but I have decided to record this one because I obviously wanted to make it a Valentine's Day um, colour selection and obviously I wanted it to be uploaded around Valentine's Day so you have it in time. So you are going to see this one in the middle of everything else. So that's why it's a slightly different layout and that's why you won't be seeing this layout for the next couple of weeks. <laughs> so without further ado I am going to show you my top five colours for Valentine's Day and I have them all in stock right now so if you want to order them be sure to message me um, and if you are elsewhere in the country that is not in the UK you can either sign up yourself to become a distributor or I can give you one of my teammates details and you can sign and you can buy from them. So of course everyone knows Valentine's Day is all about love and pink and reds and hence why I'm wearing pink today. Um, I have just altered the lighting slightly so hopefully that's a little better but the lighting is pretty terrible. So I have narrowed it down to my top five pinks and reds um, and obviously there are a lot of other colours that are pinks and reds and pink is especially a really popular colour and there are a lot of different pinks in our top 50 colours. So I'm going to start with my favourite one which is Goddess. And this is the colour that I'm actually wearing on my lips today. And it's a really nice, um, not a bright pink, but it's a really nice everyday pink and I love it. Um, uh, Sassy Z is also similar to Goddess, but Sassy Z is just a colour that I use more so for everyday, whereas Goddess I feel a bit more pretty and a bit more pink in it, so that's why I picked Goddess. My second one is Plumeria, so if you're in for a bright pink, this one is gorgeous, as well as Kiss for a Cause, but that's a little bit more vibrant, and um, uh, what's the other one? Strawberry Shortcake, which I also love, but it's a bit more red, so I thought I'd go for a bright pink, and this one is Plumeria, and I do like this one, but it's not one I would wear every day, so this one is definitely for special occasions. My next one is... A rosemary. Now if you're looking for a colour that's between pink and red or you're looking for a red that's not really really red this is the perfect colour. Rosemary is so gorgeous on and you can either um, turn it down with other colours and just wear it as a one light one like a light colour or you can build it up with because the layer when you add the layers this colour gets more and more gorgeous and pigmented. Um, so this one's a really pretty red and I'm obsessed with this one. But obviously I would describe this as a barely there red, so if you're looking for a true red, this probably isn't the right one for you. If, you're look if you are looking for a true red, we have two, one of two to pick from. We have blue red, which is Christina Aguilera's signature colour, and we have Fly Girl. As you all know, Fly Girl is my favourite red, um, and this is Fly Girl. And this is really perfect for that Valentine's Day hot red um, lip. And finally, we have my personal favourite, which is Aussie Road. If you're looking for a shimmery colour, this is the one for you. This was one of the first colours I ever bought, and it will always be one of my favourites. So, um, it's just really nice, um, really toned down, but also that shimmer adds a beautiful um, finish to it. So, that is my top five picks for Valentine's Day. Um, let me know if you want any, and let me know what you think is the perfect colour for Valentine's Day. I think uh, this year I'll probably be going with Goddess, which is the colour I'm wearing right now, like I said. And that's just because we're doing like a girl's Valentine's Day, so it'll be perfect. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it gave you a little bit of inspiration. I'll speak to you next time. Bye.